all right what is going on you guys welcome to the video we're on our way to the gym now sipping on a little bit of pre-workout um, I think I'm gonna record a leg day today I think I'll do more like one-on-one -on -one, like a mic dove leg day though so I'll talk to you guys throughout my set show you guys what I'm doing telling you all of that cuz I really don't have an idea for a video today and I want to go record something working out but I'm just unsure on what content to do so I figured you know throw the mic on talk a little bit while I'm doing it giving you guys a little bit of tips and advice on why I'm doing what I'm doing why I'm choosing certain movements and everything like that so we're about two or three minutes up the road from the gym uh, when I get in there I'll warm up and just see how I'm feeling and see what I want to do today but I think that's what I'll probably do if not we'll just do raw clips on the leg day I will show you guys some things I'll show you guys everything maybe no clue but what we're doing let's make it to the gym let's get warmed up let's let this pre-workout right here hit our system and we'll get after it all right you guys we're gonna start off with an adduction I always get confused with adduction and abduction but adduction is the inner abduction is the glute so I start with this machine really really widespread open and then push it together because if you try to sit your legs in it first you won't get a full stretch but like here I can barely get my legs up so stand up get your two hands push them together and then fall in the seat now when you get a full stretch you won't bottom out you know what I mean and then we're gonna do 12 to 15 here and then when you get up you just have to do the same thing that you did. I like to hold one pad when I'm getting out of it. See, I can't drop it all the way, so I'll push one together, slide up, stand up, and then that's how you can get into the adduction. If you have poor mobility like me, I can't do a split, so. This next movement we're doing, we're gonna do a panada leg curl. So we got two plates on here. This is similar to like a prime leg, uh, line leg curl, except this doesn't have the load in multiple locations where you can change where you want it to be at. So, we did our adductions, and now we're gonna do this. This is gonna fire up the hamstrings and just get them ready for my squats that I'm gonna do next. I do hamstrings before squats sometimes, just because I do more of a quad focus uh, squat. Just always been more natural, more comfortable for me to be a little bit closer when I squat, feel stronger, feel more, you know, my form just feels better in that position. Some people like a little wider hamstring uh, bias squat, but I prefer a close uh, quad focus. So we'll do three to four sets here, probably eight to 12 reps. Really just loading up the hamstrings, getting the legs feeling good. So got a little uh, sunburn on my legs. So this feels a little funky. <laughs> you guys know usually like um smith machine squats are usually like easier but this is like a press fix bar cybex this machine feels like way heavier than a normal smith machine for me for some reason i think it's because there is like no resistance like on a normal smith machine it like if you drop it it kind of falls slowly like it has pushback so it kind of like guides you in a way this is like dead weight i don't know why this thing feels so heavy but I went to the beat. Well, I went out on the boat yesterday and my back is all sunburnt. So putting this bar on my back is uncomfortable. But you gotta get uncomfortable sometimes. I'm thinking of six, <laughs> but shit's heavy like I said. I'll do two more sets of six and then we'll do a back off set. All right guys, I'm feeling it. Uh, after the hack squat, or after Smith machine squats, we're doing some hack squats here. I don't ever go too heavy on this because I like to feel my legs work. If I go too heavy, I feel like I just crumble under the weight. I can get it up, but I don't feel tension on my legs and my back starts feeling pressured. Like my core just kind of crumbles. So lighter with purpose, is the approach and the name of the game. 
only two plates here. I could probably go to three, maybe even four, and rep it out. But I'm all about quality of work and really just, you know, maximizing time under tension and just feeling the muscles work. If you're just repping it out, wait just to rep it out. You're not really gaining anything from it. So there's a band on it. I don't know if the band's doing anything. It was already here when I got here, so I don't know if it was set up right. But we're gonna go nice, slow and controlled. A little bit higher. Good to go. Brace, tighten that core. And then just slow and controlled. Hit like a 90 degree, push up. Feel the quads activating. What's that, seven? See, I could increase the weight, but I just wanna feel my legs activate as much. All right, guys, now we're supersetting some hamstring curls with some standing calf raises. I had to put my shoes back on for this because it's destroyed my feet, the calf raises do. So, let's set you up right there. I'm gonna do like 12 here, just really feeling the hamstrings go. We already did lying hamstring curls earlier. Now let's do some hamstring curls. Hamstring curls, you don't gotta go heavy. You don't gotta go heavy. You wanna feel the, you wanna, hamstring. <laughs> nice and light on the calf raises. You don't gotta go heavy. You wanna feel those calves engage. Get a full stretch at the bottom. Up, hold it for a second. Last thing we're gonna do, I don't think I recorded everything. I didn't record my deadlifts and stuff like that, so. <clears throat> we're doing rest pause here. So it's gonna be 10, 10 reps, slap at the bottom. Rest 10 seconds, 10 reps. Rest 10 seconds, 10 reps. So 30 total reps. I lighten the weight up about like 60% of what I was doing for working sets because the first set's easy, the second set gets hard, and the third set is like, it hits you on that third set. So don't overestimate it on the first sets. Uh, 10, You're gonna rest at the bottom right here. 10 seconds, 10. Nine, eight, one, ten reps. One, two, three, ten next, ten seconds, ten, nine, two, one, one, two, three, four, six, time to do some cardio. We'll do twenty minutes on the stair master. All right, guys, we're heading out from Revive now. Solid leg workout. Now, I have to go get an oil change in the Jeep because it's been a while, and I guess Katie was driving the Jeep yesterday, and the change oil light thing popped on because it has a sensor in here, like a tracker, and once you, you reset it when you get the oil change, and after X amount of miles, it alerts you that you need an oil change, which is really nice, so you never know if you go over or under, so. I like going to take five. People hate on take five for some reason. Because they say it's like low quality. But I don't like getting out of my car and waiting in the building. I like to just I like to just pull up, get the oil change, and go about my day. So we're gonna find the take five around here. We're gonna go get an oil change. And then we have to head home, man. I'm so sweaty as you can see. Like I'm sweating my ass off. And I have to go ride around like this for like a little bit so let's go get an oil change we're here at take five getting the oil change so yeah so we're getting an oil change right now shouldn't be much longer and then we're gonna head home take a shower and i think we have to go run some errands today and everything so we'll see what we get into I am tired. All right, guys, we just got home and I'm gonna end the video here. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys noticed, I'm trying to upload a lot more often now, um, but the videos are a little inconsistent and they're all over the place because I gotta get back into the, the groove of filming and editing. So if you guys did like this video, give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video and peace out.